What's up, guys? All right. Today I want to talk about the the loose buck naked underwear. So, I don't mind me. I have a I don't have a cold, but my uh, humidifier in my house not working, so I'm all dried up, congested. So I might sniffle a couple times. But anyway, so. Uh, the little buck naked underwear. All right, so little thing, you know, we've all seen the commercials. You know, you see the guys over there j dancing around, all happy, happy dudes. Yeah, 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 I'm happy, yeah, butt naked. So, but if if there's not many stores, okay, and really there's not hardly any at all. So in order to buy them, you got to go online. But there is a store near me, which I have never got into. So, on, uh, and I see it every time I go to Cabela's, because it's within a block away from Cabela's, but it just never, you know, you leave. Well, me and my wife were out shopping Black Friday. So, we go in, we go to Cabela's, we leave, I was like, let me stop over here. So, we stop over there, and I was like, well, beeline for the buck naked underwear. So, I walk in. Look at the buck naked on this. $22. 22. Two twos. For one pair. Not on sale. So I got a pair. See how they, you know, see how they go, whatever. I'm in there already. Take them home. I'm going to tell you right now. These buck naked underwear are absolutely awesome. You know, you, you take them home, you wash them, you put them on. They're awesome. They're absolutely the greatest. I didn't even know I needed these underwear. I had no idea, but I did. Because the biggest problem with uh, with underwear, which I had no idea, you know, if you wear, I wear boxer briefs. I don't wear boxers. I don't wear tidy whities. Hopefully, you don't need the. Don't want to picture that. But I wear boxer br briefs, and even with tidy whities, you know, the same thing. The design is, for yourself, the front of it comes down to like a Vita, you know, to cup you, you know, keep you all nice and snug or whatever this and that. Well, what happens is, is that, you know, all you guys know, you sit there, you cross your legs, you do whatever, you go to stand up, everything's kind of like in a wrong position, you reach down, you adjust it, get everything all perfect, you go again. We've been doing this our whole lives. It's normal. And then you try to hide, you know, people looking at it, reach down in there and fix it. Because it's uncomfortable. Well, the design of regular underwear goes like this, like we said. Well, the Duluth, the Duluth ones, they have a design that goes like this and then goes across. So basically, you're not being held, which I thought, kind of like if you're wearing boxers, for people who like boxers, but without all of, it's hard to explain on this, but. So here are the Duluth underwear. And as you can see right here, that's where your manhood is. Well, the big thing is you stand up, everything just kind of falls into place, no more adjusting. No more adjusting ever again. It's absolutely wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. I love them. Greatest underwear that I didn't know I needed. I had no idea. Now, the only downside to the underwear is that if anybody who knows, you know, you wear regular underwear, the front of it overlaps a little bit. So in order to... You know, if you have to go to the bathroom, you reach in, you're, boom, 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 you're good to go. Well, with these underwear, they're like this. So, in order to get yourself, you got to reach in, reach in on this way, and then, you know, in order to get yourself. So, if you see over here, it's all the way to the, all the way over here. And the end of it is over here. So 
So once we're reaching, reach in, and then you can go. I don't know why they did it like that. Maybe because of design, but I'll tell you what, not complaining about it. As far as it's, I can overlook it for the convenience of never having to adjust myself ever. Love it. So overall, I would say the design of the whole thing, I'm in love, I'm, I just love the underwear. It's just, it's literally like you're buck naked. It's, it's, the name is what it is, you're buck naked. You're free to go, plus you still have security without, you know, more security than boxes, but you're not tightened up like, you know, you, you know what I mean. Well, yesterday, I get a shower, and I go and grab some underwear. So, I grab my underwear, and I notice a hole in my underwear. A hole. Now, these underwear are $22. Now, just to go back a little bit, after I figured out how much I love these underwear, I went back a week later, and I bought seven of them. Seven. And they have a hole. Now, to pay that much money for a pair of underwear is, is blasphemous, but, you know, I was happy, you know? What do guys buy themselves, you know? A car, a, mall, a lawnmower, and underwear. So, to have my underwear split like this was devastating. And, you know, I... Everybody keeps receipts, but, you know, just out of habit, who keeps receipts for underwear? So I don't even know what I'm going to do. But, you know, you go, to, you go to the store, you get, you know, a thousand pair of Hanes or Fruit of Looms for a dollar. It's $22, man. So I start getting a little paranoid. So I grab another pair. Now, I like red. Yes, these are red. I like red. I like red. But I got two pair of red, two pair of blue, two pair of black. And I started getting paranoid, so I said, let me look at my other underwear. I grabbed the other red pair. Now, I don't know if you can see this one, but I can. I don't know, maybe I can get you to be able to see this. If I can hold it just right, let's see. can't do it well anyway there is a hole starting to form and the reason I know there's a hole and it's right there and the reason I know there's a hole is because if you look at it in the dark inside the underwear you can see light coming through in the same spot that the other ones are coming through I mean come on man So, I'm very disappointed, just devastated that I paid so much money for some underwear. And I'm telling you right now, by far the greatest underwear I've ever put on. But at the end of the day, it's $150 for some underwear, and they didn't even last one month. One month. And I haven't even been doing anything crazy. So, the design is great. I'm telling you, the greatest underwear I've ever worn. But they gotta last more than a month. So, I don't know if I can go back. I'm gonna have to go back. Maybe there's an alternative to maybe something a little bit better, more quality. But I'm devastated. To live free for a month and then have to go back is unacceptable so i would say if you're looking for if you're thinking about the loot underwear you just gotta stay away i'm sorry it hurts i'll see if i can find something better but i don't know how long i, can, I don't want to go back it's such a good design 
There you go.